Hello guys and welcome to episode 18 of my Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia playthrough playing as East Engler on very hard difficulty. Today we are continuing taking the south west, attacking Defina this turn. We have a couple of armies ready to go with this siege equipment. If we go in for a night attack it actually makes it worse for us so we're going to just keep it in the daytime. Let's go ahead and uh, manually fight the battle. Now we should win this regardless. And for some reason they're taking seasickness since they're starting on boats. They chose to try and leave the settlement but uh, forced to fight. Let's see how we do. Now Gunnar, our leader, is an absolute veteran 64 years of age with 10 command one thing i really want to try out is the ability that he has oh it's actually a walled settlement as well interesting so yeah he has an ability called something we'll find out at the start of the battle but it's a one use ability I'm really excited to see what that does. Anyway, let's decide what needs to come onto the walls. We probably want these guys to drop it, those guys on there. That's fine. These walls are actually better for us to climb because the javelin men don't have an easy time shooting up onto the walls as they do when you have those like lower wooden walls. I think what we're going to do is just have these men like so. I'm just going to start the battle. Oh yeah, there's not going to be many troops on the walls, is there? Because most of them are on the boats. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so what is this ability? Metal. War requires resilience of spirit and the strength of character to see things through to the end. Plus 10 melee skill, 50% accuracy and 15 morale for all of the units in the target area. 30 seconds. That's pretty nuts. That is a crazy ass buff. I'll tell you that much. Right, we want to get all of our archers up broadly into range so let's go ahead and do that we've got our other army coming in over here that's Guthrum catching up with Gunnar good to see the two veterans coming together to attack this walled settlement one thing that I do really like about this game is I, I do feel like almost a connection with the characters more so than I have done in other Total War campaigns. I guess I kind of got that feeling a little bit with Warhammer, but in this case, just like the development of this chap in particular with his 200 retinue now, he's 60, like... He's, he's over 60 years old and just naturally boss. And now, you know, Guthrum, probably his best buddy, is now coming out of mouth. Just going to go into Shield Castle for now. And absorb a lot of those shots. Especially as my men get onto the walls here. And stop the javelins from being thrown in the first place. Alright, time to get up onto the walls. Go on, Gunnar, get up there. Let's have all the archers 
line up together. I'm just going to group them as well. Have these men sort of walk towards the gate with the other men on the battering ram. On the walls here, our men are doing a really good job actually. I feel like they are getting hit very hard. And well, as Gunnar comes up, things are going to get messy. They flee before our might. Alright, we'll give them some metal. And we can push through very hard indeed. Okay, we've absolutely crushed them over here. Actually, I'm not even sure if they even had anything here to begin with, but I guess we can just go down. I might even have my javelin men just come up and take the walls here for us. Smashing them, I hope. Looks like we are. Get our men start marching forwards. Cavalry doesn't really need to do too much. It looks like a lot of their forces are going to be coming in on the right side. Whether or not they actually decide to move into the settlement first remains to be seen. But looks like we're having a nice engagement down here. Let's get my guys through the gate. Looks like we are crushing them on the walls here, which is good. Arrows coming down on top of the solar spearmen. They're engaging them there, that's great. cluster of units. Have Guthrum push through. Guys can go and take that tower for us. Whilst Gunnar will to move towards the centre square to take that. Alright, these javelins are in really good positions now. They're gonna do a lot of damage actually. Oh damn son. That should not happen. <laughs> Holy. Okay. Sure, whatever. I really hate how that how that works. That is like the worst mechanic in Total War. Saga Throne of Britannia. Like, seriously, that killed so many of my own men. Look at them all dead there. absolutely decimated them for no reason other than oh let's just put a bomb in the gate I don't know what the hell happened there but it's just so stupid like 
What is that supposed to represent? Anyway, we're going to be taking the center very shortly. We're capturing a victory point. Okay. And well, they're pretty much entirely crushed here, which is good. We're going to be slowly capturing this. I'm assuming if we fully capture it, then that's just victory. Um, let's continue it just on the normal. I'm going to have all my archers come in. I'll start to have my other men come in here as well. A lot of these guys, though, they died unnecessarily. To speed it up. Might as well just let those javelin men go. Gonna bring my calf together. The rest of these men may as well get inside. Are they even going to come and attack us? I mean, we're still capturing this. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to face this way. I'm just going to go into the shield castle stance. So if they try and attack us with bows or whatever, we don't take too much damage. Here they come. My men still pouring through this gate. There's a lot of men coming through. Make sure we target their javelin men, kill those off. We pretty much won though, haven't we? Just wondering if us capturing the center victory point here wins us the battle or not. I'll just get Guthrum involved in this engagement. Royal companions coming round. We've seized an enemy victory point. We got it. Is that victory then? Oh yeah. It's gonna be ticking down now. 140 seconds remaining. See how many kills Guthrum can get himself before this ends. I do have the shield biters here, and these guys are pretty damn good. So those raw companions are going to have to be worried, that's for sure.
Might even be worth just getting these guys up onto the walls. So be it. The enemy is Not sure if that's a good idea doing it at the moment with all of those forces in the way, but the thought. Let's just uh, speed things up. I don't think we're going to have to fight half of these forces. Thirty seconds remaining. A lot of these men just trying to run away. Pushing through my sword here. We're probably causing more friendly fire. Honestly, than anything else. That's victory. A decisive victory. Very nice. Other than killing half of my own forces, um, that was all right. I think we probably did more damage to ourselves than they did. Sucks, but apparently that's just how it is. I really need to remember to stay away from those walls when they're captured. Alright, let's sack it. And we'll take it. Okay. Wow, this is a big settlement. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, repair all of these. That probably wasn't worth sacking. The amount of uh, places there. Let's just go and take that rebel settlement. Buy that. And here King English. Dropped once again. I didn't realise it had gone up, honestly. <laughs> Right, that's fine, that's minus three. This is now only minus two, although we will upgrade the guardhouse. That's fine. That's fine. Can we do anything about this? Not sure we can. That minus 10 is going to stay that way for a very long time. Uh, here we're going to go to number 5. It's fine. Thorod still dealing with issues. Maybe try and secure his loyalty again. Plus 2 loyalty. <laughs> I think this time around, <laughs> he didn't want to get whipped. We'll see. <laughs> Glory awaits us. Okay. My warriors are ready. Right, West Sachs can't recruit any dudes. All of the places we have taken are secured, so that's fine. We're in a good spot. The brigands of Ragnarok, they're going to be heading down here. Whether or not they're actually going to be needed, though, remains to be seen. Especially considering this force is actually looking pretty decent. Maybe put some long axemen in there. Why not? Use up the rest of our cash for this turn. And we'll move on to the next one. We are going to be attacked. So sort of to resolve it. Nice of victory. Very nice. Might have been cool actually to watch them go one on one. But I guess the issue with doing that is maybe the leader might have got killed. <laughs> That would have been awkward. Oh well. Worthy bride. One, plus one influence for the husband. 
I guess that's fine. Give our blessing. Eric has been blessed with a daughter. And short victory kingdom. Your faction is now called Danelaw. Your faction bonuses have been upgraded. Wow. We have finally united our people together into a kingdom that will last for all eternity. We will be remembered as one of the greatest kingdoms ever to have existed, with a legacy rivaling that of all who came before us. So we're now officially Danelaw. So with that being upgraded, we get extra loyalty. I think that's extra influence for the faction leader. This faction experiences a boost to morale when fighting against its hated Anglo-Saxon enemies. I think we already had that. Yeah, just in general. Really nice. Yeah, we're now called Danelaw. Look at that. We're going to our diplomacy. Danelaw. So much for East Angla. Right, in terms of attitude, I'm pretty sure everybody hates us right, right now. Yep. <laughs> Minus 771. That is impressive. Okay. Um, this guy is general. Let's continue with the champion trait. I'll just have him kill off this chap. There we go. Where sex is destroyed. Beautiful. Killed in battle. That's fine. Right, time to carry on towards Defiana. Not quite in range to attack them this turn, but we'll be in the next one. Uh, meanwhile, these guys, that guy can come forwards. I guess this guy can kind of stay where he is. I might start moving up him up towards like chipping them or maybe I could even go onto the wards here maybe I could do that maybe a bit risky but I think I might do it we'll go and attack Dinas Powers over here upgrade this again okay and we'll upgrade this one as well Get the town militias like maxed out. Uh, this guy's going to carry on down. We may as well, as long as this army still exists. Because even though this one's pretty much fully replenished now, not sure it's going to be good enough still to take on their army. I can't really see what they have though. They've got some shield biters in there. Put another unit of long axemen in. Go get another unit of horsemen. Actually, let's just go like three Dane Law axemen and finish off with that. So that's another 20 stack. We've still got so much cash. It's just ridiculous. All right. Uh, let's just move on to the next turn, I think. In, what, two turns? We get rid of the minus two influence. And Guthrum will be at, like, eight influence now. The penalties of intervening in those political actions is actually pretty high. Because influence is like so important on your faction leader and losing that is just really a pain in the bum. Anyway, let's continue with the scribe there. That's fine. This guy's come onto land. Time to attack him. It's going to be Jarls, Huskarls, Shield Biters, Spear, Hersia. Hmm. It's a considerable force actually. But if we can defeat it with our force, 
then that actually leaves us in a good place with our other army. That other army being able to sort of move north towards North Umbra. We got the Short Kingdom victory. Now we're going to be looking for either the Long Kingdom victory or the Long Conquest victory. The Long Conquest victory I think will be the easier one to get. But we'll just take whichever comes first as we continue to rampage through England. But we are going to want to have some peace at some point. I'm not a fan of these marshes. Hmm. I might have to move over to the right side here. I'm going to have my spearmen just take the brunt of this attack. My Danelaw mailed swordsman can help out behind. Have a look at these chaps. Looking spicy. Keep the javelin men on the flanks. Rest of these forces in the mid. General in the mid. Cavalry on the flanks. Put them all into a control group. Start the battle. And move up. Okay, let's have a look at some of their units. So they had, I think, Jarl's Huskars, didn't they? Here they are. They're looking pretty scary, honestly. Gonna have to make sure that I micro my horsemen correctly. We do outnumber them in general as well, so I should be able to just surround them for the most part. Let's just speed this up a bit. Have them sprint for a little while. It's not going to affect them going that little bit further there. This enemy approaches symbol on the right side makes me think that they have reinforcements all the time. It's really annoying. But I assume it's just telling us that we can see the enemy forces and that they are coming towards us or that they are moving. Right, we're going to have to figure out how we want to attack and Honestly, considering the elite quality of their units, I don't want to spread spread out my spearmen too much. What we can do, however, is sort of get my cav to force something on the flanks. Keep these men moving forwards. Our hidden units have been discovered. Let battle commence, Brenda. State your orders. Rush into those Viking scouts, please. Javelins. My javelin men need to stop hitting my own men. That would be nice. Let's turn off skirmish mode and have those run up. Same deal here. Let's 
smash into those long axes. I don't have much ability to brace. Oh wow, the spearman just got annihilated. That is impressive. How quickly those guys got wrecked. Alright, let's just pause it then, because I need to figure out how I'm going to deal with these guys. Need to make sure that these are on the flank here. Destroyed their cav, so that's fine. Smash into the long axes again there, that's fine. Guys, throw into the back of those long axes, I think. Alright, those long axes can be charged once again. These guys can come up now. Fantastic. Launched loads of javelins into the back of these men. Nice. Yeah, I think the feared spearmen just took so much damage from like the initial charge from like the Jarls Huskars that um, we did force them to rout pretty quick. But uh, now it's not so much an issue. Shield biters causing issues. Looks like these hearth guard. They're causing problems as well. We should be able to defeat them. We're being like actually engaged here by Spear Hersia. Javelin men beat them off, that's good. Okay, they've ran. Right, let's just end it there and we'll chase them down and attack them again. We took quite a lot of damage, specifically onto the spearmen more than anything else. They were a lot of elite forces. Hurry along. Take on those warriors. And we just finish them off. Oh, I thought they'd have more men than that, but apparently not. That's just job done a second time round. Nice. And that faction destroyed. Alright, let's uh, upgrade this chap. We did initially put him towards Scribe, but now that he's a leader, I think we'll just give him extra command. Uh, this province I can't do anything about in terms of public order. Although I could upgrade this, I might do that. Um, here we can upgrade to that, that's fine. For the most part. 
Things are done. Spent all our cash. Just a few troop, troop movements to go. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I am going to have to leave it here. Next time around, we'll take on Gwent. We'll move over towards the Fianna and finish those off. We'll attack uh, Sianu and wipe them out. And then it's just a matter of uh, yeah, heading towards Long Kingdom victory. To be fair, that's going to be, what, three? Well, we got two more in Sianu and Def Defenna to destroy. So that'll be ten. Then if we destroy Gwent, that'll be eleven. And then one more faction destroyed. And we'll have the Long Kingdom victory, which will trigger, I think, the ultimate victory towards getting the Viking invasion fleets. We might be closer to the end than I thought. Either way, that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.